Hello and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorials. Uh, today I will show you quickly how you can add pages to a PDF, Adobe PDF document. And for that, I'm just going to use Adobe Acrobat, the uh, Pro uh, Edition. And the reason is because Adobe Acrobat uh, Reader uh, does not have that functionality. You need to have Adobe Acrobat Professional. So basically, I'm just going to open up uh, a document, an Adobe Acrobat document, and this is how it's done. Uh, you navigate here to Tools. And on the tools, go to uh, forms, I'm uh, sorry, to pages, uh, expand pages, and then uh, go to header and footer. And then uh, it's the first time you're going to go there into the document, then add header and footer. Okay. And this is the next screen that's going to show up. So there's a few things here that you need to know and be aware. Now, first thing here on the top is the type of uh, font that's going to be used um, for the letter uh uh, font and size. Here's the site. I'm just going to put it for now at 14. Site here depends on which side of the of, of the document you want the page to be on, right? Um, so if you want it at the center header, you put the number here. Uh, if you want it on the left here and so on and so forth. In this example, I'm just going to put it right on the right track on the right uh, header text. Uh, I'm just going to click here, put my mouse here on top of this, the right header uh, text. And I'm going to say insect uh, page number there. Okay. So right here. And this is how it's done. Okay. So um, there's a few things uh, also that I need you to know. Uh, you see, if you look here, uh, this is exactly uh, how the number is going to look. But because it is actually touching the table of content of the document, I'm just going to move the number one a little bit to the right. And to do that, I'm just going to go here and expand. You see, I'm just clicking here on the right uh, uh, field, and then I'm just going to move it to the right, to the very right. Now, um, now the, the, the page number and date format, uh, you can also click here and select uh, the date and the format. Uh, the range options, uh, you can do it here as well. For example, if you want this document, instead of being numbered from 1 to, to 10, uh, you want to name it from 101 to uh, whatever pages here, you change the number here, all right? And then you start uh, whatever number, you say number two, number three, whatever, okay? I'm just gonna cancel it out. Uh, it's just for illustration purposes. So you click okay, and once you do it, it'll take a little bit of time, as you can see there, uh, page number one, uh, page number two, page number three, page number four, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So I'm just gonna go back and uh, I'm just gonna edit. Uh, so because let's say, for example, I don't, I wanna move it a little bit to the left the number. So I'm just going to go back here. And this time you need to update. You cannot add or because you already, it's already there. So you need to update. And then uh, once I update it, I'm just going to move it a little bit to the left here. You click there and see how the number here, it, it's moving to the left. Uh, I'm just going to move it to the right a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to click. Okay. And uh, the number, you know, it's a little bit, you know, uh, a, a little bit to the left. Okay. So that's basically how it's done. Uh, there's a lot of more things that you can play around with here. Uh, let's say for example, I just want to remove it. I just don't want to have it here anymore. I'll just come here again, same page, uh, edit page, uh, design header and footer and under header and the footer, just select remove and that's it. Uh, select remove. And this is uh, actually remove and that's about it. Um, so if you like my uh, tutorial, please uh, give me a like and uh, leave a comment if you uh, if you need uh, further explanation uh, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and have yourself uh, a great day.